<laughs> this is really kind of an ironic twist in this trade spat. Now, the next round of trade tariffs are, of course, aimed at punishing China, but it will also hurt many U.S. companies, including Ivanka Trump's. Now, her lifestyle and clothing brand makes many of its products in China. And according to the trade rep, le rep list, some of her goods would be subject to the next round of tariffs. Her leather handbags, for instance, they all carry the Made in China label, and leather bags are on that list. So, this $148 bag... This Hold right here, Hold that would be subject to a $14.80 tariff. And Contessa has a $250 bag that would get Hold a up, $25 Contessa. tariff. But it smells like leather. It is leather. And so all the leather bags will be subject to tariffs. Now, Ivanka Trump declined comment. A spokeswoman would only say that the Ivanka Trump brand is held to the same standards as other companies in their category. Now, her company doesn't disclose financials, but the first daughter earned more than $5 million in income from the band brand just last year, and she hopes to deepen her ties in China, receiving seven new trademarks just this spring in China for everything from books and snacks to spices and houses. Really? So Nordstrom, uh, as we might remember, dropped the Ivanka Trump brand last year, but you can still find it at Lord & Taylor, Macy's, and other regions. Wait, so is she expanding in, into new areas in China that she's not in the United States? She has States? filed applications to do so, and those applications were accepted and approved much faster than any other applications are typically approved, but she hasn't yet launched products. There. Her brand name, though, is very strong, or had been very strong in China. Yeah. Remember the, the video of her She's daughter right, She's singing in there. Chinese to the president of China? Yeah. I mean, and, and part of the reason she did that is she was already getting ripped off. A lot of people were doing Ivanka Trump branded products, and she wanted to sort of get out ahead of that, and so she had all these uh, trademarks approved. But she is hugely popular. She is the symbol of wealth and children of wealth in so China. So even though these bags aren't expensive in terms of luxury level expensive, but they, they still might have sort of cachet in China that people might be willing to pay That's right. $15 in tariffs for. That's right. For. The, the challenge is she's already having a difficult time in the U.S. market. Uh, some stores have dropped her. Mm -hmm. uh, everything that we found on sale was, was discounted by 40%. Wow. So to add another tariff on top of that yeah, yeah. for products that were already under pressure, that's going to be tough. But, I mean, to the point... The, uh, the fellow who was just here from Michter's saying, look, we're not, we're not selling to price conscious people. So they're not going to be she, affected that much by I the tariffs in China. I think she is. She, she's really targeting not the value buyer, but, but really value-based customers that want everyday working women products. That's her prospect. Right. And I think Because these are not inexpensive. I mean, I, I, it is compared to some of the things that we see on Fifth Avenue in New York City, but when you go to Milwaukee or right. Louisville or whatever, and you go into uh, Marshalls and find this, even on discount, it's a significant investment for that's a right. lot of women. And, and I think adding to that is only going to make it tougher, and that's, right. that's the point. It's yeah. already a slightly high price point for what it is. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.